A lot of the areas that the ship operates in are very poorly charted and some of the areas that we operate in are completely uncharted. It's certainly not suitable for navigation. We've only got a few soundings along it and they're not actually accurate. And uh, the ship travels further up the river than, um, than is shown here. In order for us to get the ship to where we need to be, we have to survey the rivers ourselves. First of all, we have to actually create the charts ourselves. Now, in order to do that, we've, um, we've got survey equipment uh, loaded onto our computers, but it's quite a painstaking, uh, time-consuming procedure where we um, zoom in on, we use Google Earth, zoom in till it's the right scale for, for our operation, and then create JPEGs. We use a thing called three-point rectification, and what that does is it essentially assigns every pixel in the image with a latitude and longitude so that it's basically laying a grid over, over a JPEG image. And so from that we've got an outline of the rivers and uh, after that we can go ahead and turn those outlines into actual charts. What we do next is we survey the, um, we survey the rivers from our inflatable boat. Uh, so with our gear here, I'm collecting, um, I've got a GPS antenna and a transducer for checking the depth and the two get married together and then we feed them through to this um, computer that we've set up with a survey program. So um, on the survey program we've got uh, some charts which we've made ourselves. Um, so basically when we, when we make the charts they're just a blank image of the rivers and then we drive along and uh, collect the soundings, marry them with the GPS position and end up with a chart with uh, soundings on it. Um, the village that we're going to next is just here on the point, so I'm just running a grid, collecting soundings so that I can see where's the deepest water and then um, I'll know where to, where to anchor. And the tricky part is working out what the tide's doing. Uh, we get quite large tide ranges here, up to four metres, and that's quite, a, that's quite significant because um, we're 3.7 metres draft. The surveying system that we use is really very accurate and we couldn't operate without it. 